Want to 10x your growth? Discover how only three growth hacks in 10 days can change everything. Welcome to the 10 Day Growth Hacking Challenge with your host, Nader Sabri. Today, we are here with Zahir Nasser, who is shaking things up in the health space, more specifically in functional medicine. To learn a little bit more about what he does, you can go below to contact him. And if you want to get more in depth information into his strategy, his growth hacks, and especially what functional medicine means and what he plans to do, go to the kickoff video, the first video. Today, we're here on hack number two. And hack number two is about packaging, design, and delivery, being able to take something that is complex and simplifying it so we're able to increase the consumption levels of consumers who come in to use the product. So here, welcome aboard. How are you doing today, man? Hey, another. I'm good, thanks. Awesome. So before we get kick-started on hack number one, which was the golden card, as we called it, which was the portal you had that had a lot of traffic, any updates on that level? I know we've given it a bit of time in the sense of data. Uh, if there's any updates, let us know. How, how has that worked out so far? Yeah, so the, 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 the numbers are not as good as we thought, but they are consistently growing uh, since the uh, analytics had been re-established. Uh, we, we've hit now roughly three to 400 users a day. Um, so we're just going to keep monitoring it, see where it goes and uh, analyze a little bit deeper what's going on under the hood but uh, it's it's looking on the, it's looking positive excellent excellent so guys those tuning i mean this is really important to understand um we're looking at, at actually a fairly sizable amount although three four hundred may not sound like much but over a period of time that data can be vital it can be more vital than you think um you don't need millions of users coming in every single day to get the data you need to find signals because in the day we are looking for signals not results that's what gets us to the results before i forget and we get started uh for those tuning in uh this is all based on the growth thinking design methodology if you want to do what we're doing here in the 10 day growth hacking challenge. This is your tool. So here, let's dig into hack number two. Tell us what it was, what has happened and where we're going with it. So yeah, thanks. Uh, the, the hack number two was um, all about, uh, as you said, making it easier for the audience who uh, might not, not necessarily have heard about functional medicine to understand what we offer. Um, so we, in doing so, we, we basically packaged the tests into um, uh, groups, group of tests is, uh, at a different price point, okay. um, and allows you to upgrade based on, on, on what you're looking to understand about your health. So we, we did it on a, a, a basic an intermediate and a more advanced package whereby, um, users could, um, based on their current health status and also their family history, they could decide where do they need to find out the information. Uh, so this starts with a basic, which is just really understanding, you know, your three key vitamins, vitamin B, vitamin D, uh, and uh, vitamin C, plus food sensitivity, um, a basic food sensitivity panel that tests at a very high level, uh, 44 different uh, uh, factors of food to see what are you actually insensitive to. Um, and uh, this um, included in this is also, we've managed to squeeze in a free uh, cholesterol test for it for the users as well. I like that. Many people go years without testing their cholesterol and we felt this is really, really important. So we've managed to squeeze it in there to keep it within the kind of price point that we wanted to, to offer this at. Uh, just to give you an indication, we've kind of, started with a, a basic package of 499 uh, the intermediate package at about 999 and the more advanced package is significantly higher it's, it's double but it's there's a lot that that uh, we go into and it's 1999 um, the intermediate and the and the the advanced package actually offer a full 222 um metric uh, food sensitivity panel test where we get really, really granular on, on what are you really sensitive to. And this is important because uh, it, a lot of people don't realize that they're sensitive to uh, the, the craziest, of, craziest of things like, you know, oats or wow. yeast, or, and they don't even realize because it's, 
it's so there's such a micro amount that they're consuming um and then it's not until they actually start to feel the the more extreme symptoms do they realize it was a problem wow yeah i like that so i think that's that's really good so you got the starter intermediate and advanced um they have very good incremental uh pricing jumps even if one doubles but you get like way more value if you integrated some stuff that's for free as a value add just to get more comprehensive in some of the starter packages um one thing to be clear from a strategy perspective if i was just to take the starter package is that high level enough to point me into a direction to further investigate with an intermediate or a advanced package is that how it works yeah, so there's two profiles we've associated with the starter package. One is I'm quite healthy, I'm quite energetic, I don't really have uh, any issues, but uh, I, I've heard about functional medicine, would like to get you know some insight into my health. So it has enough to just give you the basics. Uh, there's always so much more we can do, but you know this is targeted at people who you know don't feel too tired, they just kind of want to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. they're exercising a lot and no chronic conditions in the in the family the more intermediate and advanced packages are for people who either have chronic diseases or a family history of chronic diseases and it, and they realize the importance of um, um, of really um, getting under there um, and having heard stories about through our functional medicine stories that we plan to share realize that you know they're they're um, um similar to some of the people they've heard about so um mm -hmm. one example in the more advanced package we're, we're offering a uh, heavy metals test um and the heavy metals mm -hmm. test is something that's huge uh and this uh this test a lot of people don't realize the accumulation of heavy metals in their body and bloodstream mm -hmm. until it becomes too late and then to reverse it is really, really difficult. So understanding, uh, you know, people don't realize food actually has a, a met metallic com component in it too. And, and this, depending on how much you eat over a long period of time, has uh, huge uh, re repercussions. So, yeah, we really, really get deep under the hood in the, in the more advanced package. Um, and we're going to have the education that goes with it to support uh, people's understanding. Uh, all our packages are, um, are a lot less than a coffee a day. Uh, and we're, we're, uh, we're packaging in a way where if they want to really start to get serious about their health, they can subscribe uh, to multiple tests a year. So we, we generally recommend, um, you know, at least twice a year. So every six months at minimum, but if you really, really want to get on top of your health, you know, every three to four months. So you can either subscribe, you know, every three months, four months or six months. Mm. Uh, and for that, you get a tiered discount. And of course, this can be, become expensive. So we've, uh, we're have we looking to partner with a, um, a pay monthly kind of service uh, where they can subscribe today, get their test done today, but they don't have to stop paying. They can just pay for it incrementally every month. So Perfect. almost like, you know, you pay for your cell phone service. Yeah. Um, or Net Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So are there consultations included in, in, in these packages as well, where someone will, will connect with the patient and, and explain from a medical perspective what the test actually means? So in the, in the intermediate and advanced, yes, we have your initial discussion with a, a physician and uh, one follow-on discussion with a health coach. Um, and then subsequent um, discussions are charged by the platform. Okay. What about the starter package? Because the starter package is kind of your gateway point where I think like somebody getting direction and pointing them why the, the intermediate or advanced might be important to them to go next. Um, would it be uh, like, I, I would challenge you on that. Like, how do you find a way that you can have like a bit of handholding from, from the starter package into intermediate, because that's a kind of a gateway element um, where you may be losing opportunities on both sides. I mean, the patient may be losing the opportunity to get in depth more and he just, he or she doesn't go further because the support wasn't there or vice versa from your perspective in order to drive more consistency. So I would challenge you on, on some other onboarding things related to kind of startup to intermediate to find if you can at least fit one, um, 
one consultation, maybe not the coaching, but the consultation, it could be like a really basic 15, 20, 30 minute consultation in a highly structured way with, with like, this is what's good. This is what's okay. This is what's bad. And then with what's good, don't worry about that. What's a, a concern thing. Here's some things to look out for, but the things that are not good would obviously go to the top of the agenda. I mean, like, these are the things you need to look at. This is what the recommendations are. You can even structure this in such a way with time that it could be semi-automated, not fully automated, but semi-automated, which I would challenge you to do because that will help you scale in a very large way. Um, I like the idea of the, 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 the subscription style where, where like people who are really intense into their health, I think this is going to be really good. And the fact that you're making it into installments makes takes the friction down. So we talk about this in the challenge all the time, low friction, high impact. And so more, you know, the lower the friction is and the easier it gets, the, the higher the impact uh, you'll be on, on, on the aggregate end. Um, the other thing uh, that, that I'll challenge you on as well, you mentioned something very interesting. You were talking about like which package to go for. And you were talking about like if you had some of these kind of uh, like, um, I guess, broad s- symptoms or, or, or challenges, health challenges. And, and you kind of went through them systematically because I know it's in the back of your mind. Uh, I would suggest as having that as actually at the very beginning of your website where like, hey, what kind of problems are you having? And then it would say the recommended package is this one for this reason. And so what happens is you kind of take that complexity out by asking maybe like three, four really simple questions. And it just tells them this is the ideal package for you. And that's it. And so what happens is I don't need to read the package to guess. You just figure it out uh, automatically. And then you would incentivize them uh, to, to move in. And incentivization could be like, for example, the starter package, which is $499, and let's say the consultation itself is $299 or $399, you know, two, 300 dirhams, um, you can be like, that consultation would be free. So what would be normally 800 value, that would immediately come, click here, and then and then you would find different ways to incentivize and obviously push people towards, uh, well, encourage, not push, but encourage them to the packages that would be best for them. So I think like with the automation of that, and as you fix your supply chain, which we've talked about long ago, and the costs become a lot more effective. I think you're going to find a lot more clever ways to move mm-hmm. people through packages, including creating bundled packages and potentially even creating like a super advanced package. You never know. Um, or e- even on an even better level, you might come up with a micro package, which is even sm- smaller than the startup package um, with, with when, when the costs work out. Now, the good thing is, I mean, don't overcomplicate it at the moment. You've just got three. But as your cost structures will change with time, you will open up new opportunities that allow you to get people at a lower level, which is micro, or maybe people at a higher level or more value adds, because ultimately you're going to test this stuff out and you're going to identify like where people really uh, fit in. One other thing that I'm going to challenge you on, this sounds a really strange, but uh, one of our other contenders, I think you know her, and she's the one who nominated you, who's also kind of in the same space, does some diagnostic work. And if you integrated some diagnostic work with like integrated data through webhooks of some kind and like identifying like, hey, I mean, somebody who was a little bit more potent towards a certain package, you can actually start uh, cross selling or cross collaboration uh, with her or other likes of, I mean, you're both startup companies, very dynamic individuals. You understand growth hacking. You understand the importance of collaboration. You know, start where the friction is least and see where that works and see where both of you can actually scale. She can find more of kind of what you're doing and you find more of what she's doing. And it kind of works together and you become the example for each other that sets the tone of where to go. Because, I mean, you're both working with data on different levels. And if the data combines, uh, you can find interesting collaboration points. Right. So put that in your book, man, <laughs> as one of your next hack after the challenge. I, I, I mean, really, I would I would take some of those things down and. Really, John, what I like what you've done here is that you've simplified everything um, as you went through it. I completely got it. Okay. And this is, I mean, I understand what functional medicine is not to the level you do, but going from the perspective of somebody who knows absolutely nothing, I get it. There's a start of middle and, and bigger packages, like, you know, like buying a Big Mac, right? <laughs> Small, medium, large, <laughs> there's the upsize, right? And so like, we get it. I mean, it's a pattern we get. And the fact that, it, you know, at a consumption cost level, it's less than a, a coffee a day. And we talked about that, like other measures, coffee is a good one because we can all relate to it. But any other measure like uh, uh, is a really cool way of marketing this, especially if it's something that would be perceived as healthy or even unhealthy and shifting towards becoming healthy. You'll have to play with that to see how that works out. So that's uh, that's yeah, I think that, that's really cool. OK, so um you're testing this out at the moment or have you tested it out where, where are we at in the sense of like putting these packaging designs in front of the right people yeah so in the past uh 
24 to 48 hours we we have tested it out with people in our community here so we're based in the awesome. up 71 in, in abu dhabi and uh, we've been talking to people just going through what we're covering what we found was uh, people were um, very receptive um, but we we didn't want people just saying they're receptive for the sake of it we wanted to get a little bit deeper so we, we, we tried to understand a little bit more about their lifestyle and why they would be receptive to it. And, and this kind of validated that um, they realized that most of them have some underlying issue. Uh, they just ignore it because it's not big enough yet. And that if in order to um, continue what they're doing at the level that they're doing it, because most of them are entrepreneurs, uh, they, they, health is something they know they need to pay attention to. So we found that most people were willing to go for the, the intermediate or advanced package, especially if they had the option to pay monthly uh, yeah. and they could. Uh, the, the other thing uh, is uh, the option to um, sign up under a company because they are uh, in all entrepreneurs, so they could sign up as a company and provide it to them and their employees. Mm. This was something that was really interesting because the expense wasn't theirs. It was the company's expense and they were all willing to do that. Now, this is one, a unique mm. community, obviously, because they're all businesses and, and entrepreneurs, but we want to test that with the uh, um, individuals. And we were formulating a survey to, to put out in other places over the week, next week or so, uh, which also leads on to where we're going with our, our third hack as well. So, yeah, I, I think that's a, I think you've discovered something actually quite unique. And when we segment it, there's like the individual who does a test, there's the individual who has multiple times, like with the frequency, and then you've got multiple individuals doing one time, multiple individuals doing the frequency. And so that gives you four segments to actually pursue strategically. And I think this idea of corporates trying to take to the next level and helping people out, especially entrepreneurial organizations, I think is very worthwhile exploring you found a signal how big that signal is is not clear yet because no one has paid you for it yet that's ultimately what we need to get to but you know uh, uh, test it out i mean like literally i mean like you know get a team of 10 uh, can you get, easily get a team of 10 and we've got this ongoing package so your ultimate package is like multiple people multiple times right that's like your best place to put them and make that obviously the most attractive and test it out and see. I mean, I think that could be a very clever and cool way of, of you know, expanding on, on the consistency of your revenue. Yeah, totally. I agree. Yeah. So I like that. Uh, get that into the book. Don't forget. I mean, these will be your next level things. By the way, it's, mm -hmm. it's not very, it's, it's not uncommon here in the challenge by the time we're done. I know we only work on three, but you'll have, you know, 10 or 15 that come out of this uh, that are like <laughs> micro access. Well, yeah, it happens all the time. And that's what should yeah. be happening. You should be jumping, uh, not jumping immediately out of the challenge, but once we finish, you should be jumping onto the next things that uh, you you were able to identify in these 10 days and build on them. Because remember, we're looking for those signals and you've just found the signal in a very brilliant way. Um, and you, you know, you kept it, you know, power is proximity, right? So you used your proximity uh, to your advantage and you remove the bias, which I like as well. Like, hey, everyone will say, oh, it's fantastic. But until someone actually pays, we don't really actually have, you know, something there. That's what we want to get into. So I think that's good. I think that's awesome. Uh, any, okay. So anything else on hack number two to share? I mean, this is, this is brilliant. Uh, not at the moment, but uh, th there is still some work uh, ongoing and uh, I'd love to continue sharing that with you next time. Awesome. Brilliant. Guys, uh, that is Zahir Nasser shaking up the things in functional medicine. Uh, he's trying to simplify it and deliver it to the masses at scale, which is a lot more unique and complex at the same time than you think. These growth hacks, he's managed to cut through the complexity and deliver it like a software as a service, as a, as a better of an example, I guess you can say, <laughs> where people are able to use his service in multiple ways, one-to-one, -one, one to many or one to many over a subscription uh, period of time. To learn more about Zaheer, click below. If you want to go further into his story and understand what functional medicine is, go to the kickoff video. Zaheer, that is awesome. Hack number two complete. We will see you in hack number three.